G'day, here we are inside 3ds Max, and today we will be making a mushroom cloud. This tutorial was originally made by Julian Van Honaker, and his website is omind.net. To start off, we'll go create shapes line, and we'll start by making the basic shape of our mushroom cloud. Make sure you have plenty of vertices on this bottom part here, and put it in like that. Next, we'll add a lathe modifier and bring out the axis to give us the initial shape of what it's going to look like. Now we can go back to perspective, turn, toggle on um, show end result, uh, I'll just turn on edged faces. Now if it's looking like this you gonna, you're going to need to go to lathe and flip the normals. We'll also put up the segments to about 25 and uh, edit the initial shape, just touch it up a bit, make it look pretty. Righty -o. Uh Next we're going to add some detail to this, so we'll add an edit poly modifier above the lathe, uh, go to polygon by pressing 4, and you can select the vertices by clicking then control clicking to select more press shift E to extrude them press alt click to deselect a face or a poly and just go around the whole of your mushroom cloud make sure you don't select the bottom segments and just give it a bit of detail this is going to add quite a nice effect to the end result of the mushroom cloud when we add the mesh smooth The great thing about this is you don't need um, extra plugins for 3ds Max, it can all be done from the distri original dist. And also we're using 3ds Max 2009, but you can use anything from 4 and onwards, which is also really great. There aren't many tutorials that can look this good without using extra plugins. Okay, so here's our basic to our basic mushroom cloud, it's looking a bit squarish. We can go down to the line, the vertex, uh, just toggle on, see end result, and make those smooth. Um, but yeah, since we've already edited the poly, we probably can't do that, and we will add mesh smooth anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. Alright. So now that we've got our basic shape, we're ready to add, add a material. So open your material editor by pressing M, apply the first one, name it M Cloud 1. We're going to have three materials, one for the base, one for the core, and one for the top part. Set the colour to a nice orangey yellow, more yellowy than orange. Then go down, then scroll down to your maps and for displacement, make the amount 25 and add a cellular map. Change the source to world XYZ, the middle division colour to 75 grey, and click OK. Turn on fractal, iterations 1.3, size 15, spread points 75, and that looks pretty good. We'll just go back, go to parent, and we'll see how it looks. Uh, it's not looking too bad, but it's supposed to be more detailed. So, go into displacement. Can maybe turn the size down a bit. See how that looks. No, still not quite what we want. Actually, we'll just go out here and set the mesh smooth iterations to two. That should make it more detailed. And in your um, cellular map, turn. So it shows standard map in viewport, so you can see what you're doing pretty much. Um, just alterate the size, so it gives a sort of spotty colour. You can actually see the spots. That's pretty good, we've got it on 5.8 at the moment. Bring it down. Uh, change the spread if you want to. I might change it to 0.6. Um, you can go to parent and also change the displacement. Uh, keep doing tests and when you're happy with it uh, that's looking pretty good as well you can go to the next stage yeah I'd say that's looking pretty good 
Next we copy that displacement map over to our diffuse color, make it a copy, go into the sub map, or the map rather, and set the cell color to work in HSV. 10, 255, 255, nice and orange. Set the division, first division color to H30, SAT 150, value 255. And the last division color to 35, 35, 255. Next we'll lower the spread value to 0 0.4 and change fractal iterations to 4. For the last division color, put in a gradient. Change all the colors to HSV 35, 35, 255. Copy them across. Um, sets the coordinates to planner from object XYZ. Go down to output and set the amount to 1.5. Go back to parent twice and set illumination to 100 and the end result should look something like this. Aha! Okay that's it from our first one. Um, next we can copy that material across twice. We'll make that one in cloud 2, this one in cloud 3. In M cloud 3 set the diffuse color to a darkish grey, that's going to be our smoke. Go back to mclad2, apply it to our poly, set the diffuse colour to a reddish orange. That's about it. Next we scroll down to our maps in the diffuse one. We're going to change these three colours. I'm working in RGB now. Go 124.0. Next division colour 255, 60, 0. Last division color, 255, 249, 220. And we'll bump up the spread to 0.75. Go back to the parent and copy our diffuse map to our self illumination map. And this is what you should get. Looking good. For our last smoke material, MCLAD 3. Uh, apply it to our me mesh and scroll down to maps, diffuse, and we're going to change these three colors again to 125 gray, 75 gray, and 169390. Nice dark red. Uh, t take off this gradient map by selecting none, 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 none and bump up the spread again to 0.75. Come back out to the parent and copy that diffuse map we just made to self-illumination. Go into there and change the colors to black, black, 175 gray. Now if you render this, this is what we should have. Looking good.